Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing my perfume collection and in the process I'm going to be decluttering a few of these. So I do have a ton of perfumes and a lot of them are very old. I've had them for many years and I mean many, many years. So I do really need to go through some of them to decide later if I'm going to declutter more because I'm sure that I will. So the first one here is Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. This one I featured in my June favorites. I've been using it throughout the month of June and I absolutely love it. It's just a very sweet, fruity, coconut smelling perfume. I love anything that smells like coconut and this one is by Pacifica so it's a more natural brand. Highly recommend if you like coconut scents. The next one is the Pacifica Sugared Amber Dreams. This one I need to play with a little bit more, but it is a sweeter smelling perfume. I typically like sweet smelling perfumes, sweet or fruity. I don't like floral because those give me an instant migraine. I'm very sensitive to smells and I just don't like floral scents. So I also have some of these in roller ball, roller ball format. I have Indian Coconut Nectar, Tuscan Blood Orange, and Tahitian gardenia, which I, the, the, the gardenia I don't really like. It's too floral for me. I ended up breaking it at the end of the video, which you will see. So I purchased the rollerballs, wasn't a fan of them, so I ended up purchasing the other two in the spray form. All right, next up I have these reusable cases for the Scentbird Automizers. Basically, Scentbird is a perfume subscription service. It's $14.95 a month. You get a 30 day supply of perfume of your choice. They do have like over 400 designer perfumes that you can choose from. And the Automizer comes in this really cute reusable case. They have different colors. As you saw, I have the three different ones, the black, the pearly white, and the pink. So basically you just twist it up and the little head pops up so you can spray it directly onto your body and then you can twist it back down. And then you just pull the automizer out of the reusable case and there is your perfume. It has the brand and the name of the perfume on there, which is really cool. And like I said, you can choose a different perfume scent every month. So the most recent one that I chose is Escada Born in Paradise. This is one that I've heard lots of people talk about and I always wanted to try it. So I decided to smell it in Ulta first. I really love the way that it smelled, so I decided to select this one, and I just, I've been loving it. Um, I've been using it for about a week now, and I really, really love the scent. So, Scotta Born in Paradise smells amazing. So, it does come with a little pouch that you can put the reusable case in, so you can just throw it in your purse. I do have a coupon code for Scentbird. I will link it down below, and it is not an affiliate link, just so you guys know. So next, I purchased this one. This is actually my most recent purchase. This is the Body Shop's White Musk. I had a sample of this and I absolutely love this scent. Some people don't like musk, but I do. So I like fruity, sweet, and musky scents. Um, so White Musk, highly recommend if you like musk scents. It's really, really good and it's one of their best sellers. Next is the Bath & Body Works Dark Kiss Body Mist. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. I absolutely love it. I have quite a few backups of this mist and I can't get enough. And then these are my old school perfumes. So this is Ralph Lauren Cool. Who remembers these? If you guys used to use these, let me know because I used to be obsessed with these Ralph Lauren perfumes. I have three of them. I need to use them up because they're super, super old, but I used to like absolutely love these. So this one's the Ralph Lauren Wild. And again, these are probably not quite as sweet and fruity, but they still have a little bit of like that sweet smell to them. I'm not good at describing notes, so I'm not gonna describe notes on all of these perfumes. I will try to link every perfume down below if they're still available, because some of these are super old. I don't even know if you can find them anymore. So this is Ralph Lauren Hot, and I just remember that this one has a little bit more of a spicy smell along with that sweet smell, if I can remember correctly. But yeah, these are super, super old school. I can't even believe I still have these. All right, next up is the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. I don't really like this. I just, I never really liked it since I purchased it. 
thousands of years ago. I mean, I've literally had this perfume forever and I just never use it and I don't think I'll ever use it because I just don't like it. So I'm going to declutter this one and pass it along to a friend or family member. Next up is Lady Gaga's Fame Perfume. I picked this one up at, I think, Ross. And I just really don't like this one as well. I don't remember exactly what it smells like, but I just remember it was a little bit too fragrant for me. And it just was one of those perfumes that gives me an instant headache and just makes me feel kind of nauseous. So this one I didn't like. I'm going to declutter this one as well. All right, next up is Vera Wang Pink Princess. I don't know if this one is still made and being sold. I will try to link every perfume down below, like I said before, but if I have trouble linking some, I'll just make a note that they're not available anymore. Um, this one is super old. I got it a long time ago from Ulta. So Ulta used to have their rewards points where you could redeem your points for specific products. And I used to have so many points sometimes that none of the products appealed to me except for a perfume. So some of these perfumes I got with my Ulta rewards points way back in the day. And that's why I have so many perfumes. Anyways, this one is Vera Wang Princess. And I think the bottle is supposed to be purple, but I don't know if it faded over time. That's really weird. Next up is Calvin Klein CK1 Shock. I got this one at TJ Maxx. I have a backup because I love this perfume. It's one of my favorites. It's just a very sweet smelling perfume. So if you like sweet smelling perfumes, highly recommend you check this one out. I always buy these at uh, TJ Maxx. All right, this one is really really old who remembers ck1 the original ck1 yeah i used to love this i haven't used it in years i've probably used half of the bottle so far and this one i just remember it kind of has like a little bit of a citrus scent maybe like a musky citrus i don't even know if that's the correct description of it but i kind of just remember it has like a little bit of a citrusy scent all right, next up is Calvin Klein Eternity. This one used to be a favorite as well way back when, and I still do like it. It could be a little bit fragrant for me now. I feel like I'm more sensitive to perfumes now than I used to be, um, but I still do like this on occasion. I do have two bottles of this. This little one I got with my Ulta Rewards points a long time ago, so... Um, yeah, I don't need two bottles. I have the big bottle, which I've used half of, and then I have the small, newer bottle. So I think I'm going to pass along the smaller bottle because I don't need both. And then this one is the Aqualina Gold Sugar Perfume. I believe I also got this one at TJ Maxx. Um, I loved the original Pink Sugar Perfume by Aqualina, which I will show next. So I decided to purchase this one to see what how different it was. And I do like this one, but I think I like the original more. So this is the like original one I'm talking about. This one's called Pink Sugar by Aqualina. And this is actually my second one here, which I haven't even opened because I have so many perfumes that I figured I should try to use up another one before I open this one. But this just basically smells like sweet vanilla. I feel like the gold one did too, but maybe has a little bit of a spicier scent to it. I can't remember exactly, but it is slightly different, but they both smell like vanilla. Okay, this one is Prada's Candy. This one I also got with my Ulta Rewards points, and I really haven't used it too much, and it's just been sitting there for a really long time, but I really do like this scent. It's just like a sweeter scent, so... I'm going to start using my perfumes more because I used to use a lot of scented body lotions and therefore I didn't use scented perfumes, but now I've been using non-scented lotion so that I can start using my perfumes because I really need to start using them or get rid of them, you know what I mean? So this one is really old as well. It's called Burberry Tender Touch. I mean, this is probably, this one and the Ralph Lauren's are probably the oldest ones that I have, but... Um, I can't remember what this one smells like. I need to, I need to test it out and see if I want to keep it or not. So if I declutter more of these later, I will have to just do an updated video. 
All right, this one is the Bath & Body Works Stress Relief Body Mist. I haven't used it too much. I do have the lotion, which I do like, but I just don't like the body mist too much. I just feel like this is a scent that I don't want to spray on my body. I love the one um, in Lavender Chamomile. That one smells so good, but this one I'm just going to pass along. I just don't love it. And then I think this is the last one in my collection. Oh no, this is the second to the last one actually. This one's just Michael Kors for women. I don't, it doesn't have like a specific name. If you look it up online, which I did, it just says Michael Kors for women. So it doesn't have like a specific name. Um, this one smells really good. I like it. I haven't used it too much, but I also got this one with my Ulta Rewards points. <laughs> and then lastly is the Body Ecology, which you can find at Walmart. This one's called Sheer Innocence, and it has notes of sheer musk and peony. And I just like the musk scent in it. It's really old. I haven't even used it that much. I got it like maybe a year ago. I think it was limited edition. I don't know. And as you can see, I broke Pacifica Gardenia. It fell on top of another it fell on top of another perfume and it just broke all over my rug so I had to wash that rug but it says it's not washable so I don't think it's gonna look quite the same once it's dry because I have to let it air dry anyways these are the four perfumes that I'm going to be getting rid of and I'm going to be testing out some of my old ones just to see if I want to get rid of some more but yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always and if you remember some of those old school scents that I mentioned, just let me don't just let me know down in the comments. I want to know if you guys used to use any of those old scents. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Bye.